When Avadia Yosef, the spiritual leader of Israel's Shas party, died earlier this month, hundreds of thousands of people joined his funeral procession in Jerusalem. But ultra-Orthodox Jews from the Middle East, the party's traditional support base, are still trying to work out what direction Shas will take under the leadership of Arya Deri, a controversial figure who lacks the religious credentials of Rabbi Yosef. Avram Cohen manages 10 synagogues serving Jerusalem's ultra-Orthodox or Haredi community. He says it's crucial that the Shas party gets back in the coalition government. I think Shas needs to be in the government to influence policies on a religious level so that Israel doesn't start resembling Copenhagen. We're Jews, we believe in the Torah and we practice our religion and it's important that the next generation inherit that identity from us. Cohen helped Shas fight its first local elections 30 years ago. For most of the time since, the party's been influential in the Israeli government. But currently it's in opposition, with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu teaming up with other right-wing parties instead. Ovadia Yosef turned Israel's ultra-Orthodox community into a powerful political force. Now he's gone, many people are wondering how much influence they'll have on future governments. Many Shas supporters are furious about a change in the law that will force Haredi or ultra-Orthodox men to serve in the Israeli army rather than study at yeshivas, religious schools like this one. This government is, uh, is described by Haredi parties, which is mainly Shas and uh, Yehudat Torah, as uh, a secular, anti-Haredi uh, um, government and dangerous. So if Arya Deri tries to strike a deal with the government, he risks angering ultra-Orthodox voters. But if he doesn't reach out to Netanyahu, his supporters will carry on feeling excluded. For now, the challenge is to hold together a movement still mourning its founder. Nadim Baba, Al Jazeera, Jerusalem.